Good Monday morning to you ladies and gentlemen from my home base in Texas, Kingsland, near Kingsland, Texas. Still alive in my 2019 Casita 17 footer, 84 square feet of living area. Been a long time full-time RVer, but anyway today is, don't forget, the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. So anyway with that in mind, hey Google, What's the temperature in Kingsland, Texas? The temperature in Kingsland right now is 41. Here in the boonies out here where I live, it is 39, which is not much difference. The high, though, is supposed to be 77. So what else? Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Bangor, Maine? The temperature in Bangor right now is 33. Not bad. Hey, Google, what's the temperature in Butte, Montana? The current temperature in Butte is 30. That's pretty nice for this time of the year. Hey Google, what's the temperature in Fairbanks, Alaska? In Fairbanks right now, it's minus 21. That's cold. That's just plain old cold. Anyway, hey Google, tell us a, a horse joke. What kind of horses only come out after dark? Nightmares. <laughs> it's hard to follow that. But anyway, uh, we got a little cedar pollen in the air here in Central Texas. Everybody loves that. Makes your eyes itch and your nose drip. It affects me a little bit. But anyway, if you guys want to read a good book, some of you readers, I left a link to that uh, book I was reading about the uh, uh, cowboys and stuff that was written. It's a kind of a diary, but I left a link to a couple of comments in the, in the videos. But anyway, uh, another good book is called The Mayor of Castor Bridge. The Mayor of Castor Bridge. C-A-S-T-E-R-B-R-I-D-G-E. -E. And it was written by Thomas Hardy a long time ago, but it's a pretty good book. I have to tell you, it starts off pretty quick. But anyway, having said that, moving right along to Moreno Valley News first. Oh, I forgot something. Trenton Clump, an it. Teddy Bear, my name on it. Popeye, Olive Oil, Popeye Cartoons, Betty Boop, 1930s. Sticker, native Texan, sound like a robot, <laughs> million dollar note, thousand yen note, five euro note, two two dollar bills underneath, a frugal RV gal sticker, Mr. Bo Jangles, and some new, a new uh, reloaded on bananas, olive oil's bra, smiling face with nose, ears, and hair, and a saying, life is better in a casita, and it is for me. Anyway. Moreno Valley News First says, cool, thank you, Cliff Andre. Thank you, Rusty, for your information on soaking the chia seeds in water for about 15 minutes. Yeah, you should, because if you just eat the raw chia seeds, they'll get in your tummy and absorb all the water and stuff. You know, it could cause you some problems, I guess. But anyway, Joseph Allen says, good afternoon from High Point, North Carolina. Gas is 220. 212 per gallon, 87 octane, filled up for $28 from empty. That's good. Joseph, Dare Trixa, great rig. Thank you for showing. Greetings from Germany, Der Trixa. Next up is Dale Pointer, our ranger poet. He says, little boondocking, oh, this is on the tab. Little boondocking RV, no bigger than an apple. Park it under a shade tree, lean back and have a snapple. <laughs> Way to go, Dale. Texas Life Julie, the most beautiful Sunday in Texas I have woke up to in a long time weather-wise. Happy to share some of it with watching comment call. Have an awesome day, Rusty and all the Rangers. Thank you. And here's Dertrix again. Good evening. It's 9 p.m. Your hope your Sunday was great. Greetings from good old Germany. Well, greetings to you, Dertrix. Uh, hippie bits. Rusty, you would make a fabulous auctioneer with that voice of yours. Well, I doubt it. <clears throat> I, I used to listen to auctioneers because we used to go to auctions when I was a kid. Cattle and pigs and stuff. And, uh, yeah, it was. I was always fascinated by the auctioneer, how good they were. Uh, Jim Christensen, it says, this comment is off topic. Polished the diamond, just attended the grandchild's basketball game yesterday, and as you enter the door to the school... There was a sign that read, Sharpen the Saw. 
that reminded me of your quote, polish the diamond. The youngins are learning to polish that diamond, sharpen the saw early on. Awesome. Good. Michael Tyree, good comment or good talk, Rusty, on the Beer 30 stuff. Mark Hilgert <clears throat> on the comment called Rusty Red Earth Read Earth Abides by George Stewart, 1953. Also the original writing journal of Lewis and Clark. Okay. Thank you. Panda 2016, great ma greatest mail call ever. Well, I hear you. LOL, great job and nice touch from a retired Air Force Master Sergeant. Boy, I'm telling you, you had a lot of up and down, didn't you, on that shoulder? I hear you. <clears throat> Carl Hopp, howdy, Rusty. Just came in from my afternoon walk, three or four miles, wooded, nice. Hope your day is going well. Well, it went well. I enjoyed it. Nice day. Hope I have another one today. Linda Sue, hi, Rusty. Have you got any insights about bowler trailers as a recreational vehicle? No, I don't. I don't know much about the bowlers at all, other than I think they're a little pricey. Is that correct? I think. Uh, Carrie Joe, you're right, Rusty. I looked at these a few times at RV shows. The quality is great. Yeah, that's on the tab. Yeah, they are. They're, they're, they're all right. Tabs are good. They're pricey little boogers. The, the 400 is. <clears throat> Bob Steen or Stein, depending on which side of the Mississippi you're on. Says, well, I think this one was designed with, designed with Rusty in mind. That's the sunlight. You ask what the space next to the bed was for. LOL. Beer storage. That's a good spot. Good spot for it. Reminds me of that space in the Clipper Cadet where you kept the beer before it hit the cooler. I'm pretty creative when it comes to storing beer. Beer 30. Uh, this is uh, Franny Lee 38. Good subject. Thank you. Sh Shmoab, I guess. Really loving the trailers you're showing, Rusty. Keep it up. I've got about one, maybe two more. I'm not sure. This is Jeff Erdman. Uh, hey, Rusty. My wife has a library app called Overdrive on her iPad so she can check out digital books from the library for free from the convenience of wherever she is. The book is automatically returned but can be extended if she has not, has not finished it. I just checked the Austin Public Library's webpage. They seem to have the service. Well, thank you for the link, Jeff Erdman, and the information for everybody. Stuart Billingsley. Yes, Rusty, your audience does like you to show all these campers. Some of us do not live where we can go cruising the cramp camper trailer lots and like to see the latest they have to offer. So thanks for showing us the smaller camping trailers. Yeah, go to uh, rogersrv.com. He has a lot of the smaller units. I realize he's doesn't he doesn't cover the whole United States. <clears throat> but uh, you can find uh, some of the smaller units and check them out. You know, the tear, little teardrop things. Uh, anyway, Dana D. says, Love listening to your videos while I work. In nature, it's usually the male that is more attractive, is the more attractive one trying to attract the female in reference to your last comment call. That's true because uh, in Texas, the uh, cardinals or red birds, I call them, they're beautiful red birds, and the female is kind of a gray and not very pretty. I thought I think she's pretty, but I mean, other people don't. Uh, Baltic Avenue, have a good evening, sir. You too, slack pack hiker, pack hiker. Wow, that is low. Didn't know that happened. Yeah, they do that every few years. Uh, they lower the uh, lake at Inks Lake, and actually, it comes right on down. It goes all the way down into, uh, you know, it, they lower the whole chain of lakes from Buckhannon Dam south. <clears throat> Slack pack hacker. Oh, he did not read that. Margaret Harris, I think you found Thorny's family. Yeah, I hear you. Uh, that was on uh, Sunday morning stuff. Uh, this is uh, Calvin, retired geezer, firefighter. Been to Inks many times. I agreed with, I agree, Rusty, the Highland Lakes area is a beautiful part of Texas. It is to me. I mean, I chose this after looking around at a lot of places, including Alpine. I would have you know, Alpine's nice in Fort Davis and Marathon, but, uh, uh, you know, Marfa. But, it, you got to want to be there. Uh, Calvin, retired geezer. Oh, okay, he already read that one, didn't you, Rusty? Yep. Nick uh, Francipane, I guess. Hey, Rusty, uh, any other good spots to put in a fishing kayak around there? Thanks. Uh, I don't know. There might be, Nick. I, that was the best place I found. Uh, C, G. Reg's life. What a beautiful area. Thanks for the tour, Rusty. You're welcome. 
Angie Thomas, uh, have a nice evening. It looks like beautiful weather. It's almost sunset. It is here. Uh, I mean, it was a beautiful day yesterday. I mean, it's going to be beautiful again today. Uh, RV camping man, every e oh, evening, Rusty, nice day. There is a good alternative camera app on the Google Play Store called Open Camera that allows many more recording resolutions, including 720p. My phone's native camera app doesn't have 720p option anymore either. Either easy solution. What's it called? Open camera? Well, I, I may check that out. Thank you, camping man. Appreciate that because I might have to use that. Got some hair sticking up. You know, my hair is, there ain't much up there, guys. A lot of y'all think I got thick hair. I don't. <laughs> Uh, what we got here rather be fishing the boat ramp is closed. I'm glad that I checked their website before I went kayaking Is that by the bird blind? No, it's uh, about a mile Let's see which I'm not uh, south of the bird blind uh, Paul Drake this summer you should invest in a small Camera drone and give us some aerial shots. Well, I got an idea Paul. Why don't you invest in it for me? <laughs> Anyway, thanks, Paul. They are pretty neat, but I'm not, I, uh, no. Gerard Trico, I love the redundancy of pink granite, as all true granite is pink or pinkish. Unfortunately, people who sell countertops are too lazy to learn the proper names of the stone they are making in the countertops. Everything from marble to garbo, etc., they call granite. I even saw one listing as g-n-e-i-s-s -S -S as granite well anyway you know more about rocks than i do i just it's just a rock to me thank you gerard <clears throat> terry williams uh says got a long coming i'll read part of it looks like you got some warm weather down there now the cold hit almost everyone south and even north miami florida where the lizards were falling out of the trees down there anyway uh they had a lot of da -da -da. Anyway, he's got a long comment about the weather and so forth. And thank you, Terry Williams. I appreciate it. And then here's Michael S. Got a couple of links to something. Thanks for sharing, Rusty. Inks Lake looks very interesting. He's got uh, inks, inks. Got two lakes to Inks Lake State Park. Thank you. Evelyn Lowry. You still have the best deal with your casita. I think I've got the best value for me because I had a chance to look around just about everything. And this thing really appealed to me. Thank you. Uh, Charles Town. Did you ever finish writing that book on ugly, or are you still working on it? <laughs> I'm still working on it. Thank you, Charles. Uh, Margaret Harris, I love this one. Great space and love the kitchen. Yeah, that's on the Riverside RV. Uh, Sunday morning, Valer Valer Valeria Swan, I guess. Valeria W. Swan. Valerie a son i get i'm not sure she told me how to pronounce it and i can't even remember it. i live in kansas and the birds were chirping also the high temp was only about 40 and i thought what the heck are they chirping for it's cold out there well they were chirping here yesterday you know it, it's uh, it's that feeling i get that there may be an early spring could be a false one though could be tricked uh, mike neely wait you you mean you didn't go to mars ha ha uh that mars video was amazing have a good one yeah uh, that area where I did the Sunday morning video was close to where I did the Mars video. I, I pretended I landed on Mars and I made up a lot of crap. I don't know where it came from, but it came right out of here. <clears throat> this was on the Casita versus Scamp. Storytelling in motion. Watched again for the second time. Well, good. Tom Austin uh, says, awesome, Rusty. This is on RV camping, something I did. Oh, that's on the cooking stuff. It says, awesome, Rusty. You have got living small and clutter-free down to an art. Love it. Less stuff means less stress and more time and money to enjoy yourself and have fun. Glad to see how you live on a daily best basis. It gives me ideas how to do the same. You're a very cool guy, and I appreciate you sharing your info. Thanks for sharing and safe travels. Thank you, Tom Austin. Good luck to you. Trixie R. <clears throat> live oaks are wonderful, aren't they? The most spectacular live oak I've seen is is the angel oak in south carolina several youtube videos on it yeah there's some huge oak trees around taz mod rusty trike man thanks for thanks for taking us out and about you're quite welcome aka digs i live near here and it's beautiful during the spring it is we get blue bonnets and all kind of flowers this is on the tab 
Jerul 711. I think that little round door is for the cable input. It could be. I couldn't get it open. <clears throat> You know, when you're doing videos live and you don't edit them, you get to see all that stuff. Uh, Mike Ellis, we had a call from a guy with a flip phone. He was trying to watch YouTube videos on it, and he was asking why only some videos work and others won't. And I think the answer is 720p versus 1080. His phone is not capable of the bigger files, so there may be an advantage to doing it in, in 720, reach more audience. Oh, that's true because a lot of people are trying to conserve their da data or data and uh, yeah thank you Mike Bob's World Entertainment Podcast etc Rusty loved the video wish I was there same person any gold in them hills actually there was years ago they had some gold mines around here near Lano and uh, I don't know where they were located we'll do a few more and then shut her down here uh, Mike Brandenburg uh, seems like it was last year when all the flooding occurred. Yeah, the flooding occurred uh, in October 2018. Actually, I remember it well because they washed the bridge away in Kingsland, Texas. And they've got a beautiful bridge now. I mean, they built one quick, but it's a pretty one. Uh, prairie night moon. It's definitely spring in my part of Texas. Birds singing, trees budding, little leaves. Thanks for this video. I think all of Texas is beautiful in its own way. I think every state is beautiful in its own way you know if you took away all the silly borders that are just imaginary uh, the earth is just a round ball with people on it <clears throat> all those borders we create are for religious reasons political reasons and all that language and all kind of crap but the earth is beautiful all over mr c i like the tab series they make a full s i e d now and it looks very nice whatever that is <clears throat> Uh, Dale Pointer, a little more poetry here, guys. Let's see what we got here from Dale. It's a long one here. Well, not that long. <clears throat> Dale Pointer, they landed on Mars. The aliens cried all those light years and were still alive. Looking around, they spotted a strange sight. A man in purple wearing a cape, cape and tights. Trike man, cri trike man, one did yell. We're in trouble. Let's fly away like hell. <laughs> Thank you, Dale. Actually, it's lime green, though. It's not purple. But it does, uh, uh, lime green wouldn't rhyme with anything. <laughs> Scotty Thompson, cool comment call. Scotty Thompson says, I'm going to get the cell phone, a used new, in a box, LG V20, the 2016 for cheap on the Verizon, etc. So he's getting him a, it's a 16 megapixel camera, 8 rear. Uh, anyway, he's got a lot of stuff here on the phone, 1080p, 4K. Wow, Scotty, you're getting me a good phone, aren't you, bud? Well, good luck to you. I hope your LG V20 works perfectly for you, bud. And uh, he says, cool video tech talk on the 320s. Uh, does it have a TV? Yes, it does. It had a TV, Scotty. Uh, and the cool video talk. And then we get back here to Ryan B. Great message, Rusty. Props to you, to you for the props. To you for find the life you enjoy most whatever anyway thank you Ryan appreciate it and uh, we'll do one more and shut her down or two more we got them up here uh, long long comment here just says name is drill sergeant I'm a few years older than you I take tons of medication and I walk my ass off every day with my dog Lola I traded my wife for Lola and I'm glad I did Lola, Lola doesn't talk back I love cold beer and always have. I travel extensively, and Lola and I are presently broke down in the southeast U.S. We hope to return to the road soon. I was able to find a new engine pulley in Latvia, and it's on the way. I hope it works. I have viewed a few of your videos, and I hope that you aren't doing it for money. Life is too short to grovel. Anyway, uh, uh, you know, of course, I, I enjoy the money, Drill Sergeant, and I use it to tra help travel. But, uh, yeah, I, I can live on Social Security. But thank you, and good luck. Hope you get your problem fixed. Eric Moore, Rusty, you're right. It is a well-built camper for smaller people. I'm the same height as you, and I had to bend over inside this camper. The bed was too small, and I couldn't fit in the shower. If I were less than 5 foot 10, then, I would, then it would work out. They, have, they do have a very appealing look. Thanks. Yeah, they do. They're pretty lightweight and aerodynamic and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, later on today, I'm going to do... I got a... 
I got one letter I need to do a mail call on. I need to do that, and then I might do a triking video uh, in the neighborhood or somewhere. I, I would go into a small town, but during the week, they're busy. The best time to do a triking video in these little towns around here is on the weekend. And I thought about doing one yesterday, but I had enough videos to do do the day, so I didn't. But having said that, guys, from Central Texas, uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye-bye. Buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? You know why. It doesn't cost you one penny, though. You know, if you, it's a free ride. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't want to fool with it, I don't blame you. And then what else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones. It'll also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you won't want to eat so much. And the only way to lose weight uh, is to eat less. I know that's uh, the hard fact, but it is. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in deeply through your nose or your mouth. Doesn't matter which. And hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly. Why? That relieves stress. And relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Sure it is. You bet. Check it out. And then stretch, stretch, stretch. Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk, walk, walk. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day. You'll never regret that. You'll feel better and you may live healthier a little longer. Is that good? Yeah. And then what else? Stand guard. Door of your mind. Do not let negative Nancy or negative Ned get inside of your head. This is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes. All your consciousness is there. So don't let somebody dump trash in it. Makes sense, doesn't it? And then what else? Uh, accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. Best you can. And this is Monday. Go for it. It's just another day. Enjoy it. So having said that, guys, from Central Texas on a cool day. It's going to be nice. 77 for a high today. Good triking day. Good, good day to be outdoors. Adios, amigos. Carry on. At ease. Till next time. Bye-bye.